subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Does the thought of hosting an afternoon tea seem daunting? Well, it doesn't have to be. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we will set a pretty tea table with finds from Goodwill and a garage sale. Then we will head to our neighborhood Aldi store for tea time treats for a no muss, no fuss afternoon refreshment. Come along. This German grocery store chain offers high quality and low prices. Make sure to bring your shopping tote for your purchases and a quarter for the cart. I'll grab some berries. I have plans for these. And lots of sweets that are ready to serve. Muffins, cookies, chocolate croissants. And they're individually packaged. I think I will grab some of these for a no-bake option. And they have delicious pound cakes in different flavors, lemon, marzipan, and marble. They're enrobed in chocolate and would be perfect sliced thinly and placed on a platter. Jams and jellies are great for scones and croissants. And these are our family favorites, the milk chocolate butter biscuits. Just walk the aisles at Aldi and see what you find that might be great for your tea table. Well, the chocolates are delicious. It's really good quality, good for making chocolate mousse. And here's an idea. You might want to grab some sea salted caramels or milk chocolate almonds, place in a small dish with a demi tasse spoon on your tea table. Who doesn't love chocolate? And macaron, that's always a crowd pleaser and very affordable. I'll grab some cream puffs and some chocolate eclairs. Thaw these on the countertop for 30 minutes and they're ready to serve. In the freezer section, they have a variety of muffins and cookies along with cookie dough. And I like to serve their croissants for breakfast or brunch or even tea time, but they're out of these today. And here are some tea selections, chamomile, peppermint, and I think I will choose the English breakfast. It's a classic option. And remember the fresh flowers. You place those in a vase for a nice centerpiece and welcome your guests. And that was easy shopping at Aldi today. Here are a few of my purchases. I'm excited to debut these vintage snack sets. You may recall I acquired these at a community garage sale, 10 for $10. They're made in Japan and it's a seashell shape with a scalloped edge and a gold rim with a violet pattern. I like the green and the purple. Those are colors I normally don't feature on a table and that gave me some ideas for today. And it's important to keep it to scale. I didn't want to put a large teaspoon or a luncheon napkin, so I have used a cocktail size. And instead of a teaspoon, this is a sterling silver demi toss and it's really the perfect size. It's engraved with my mother's initial letter B, so that's a nice reminder of her. And in case we needed a knife for cake or for jam on a croissant, I placed butter spreaders at each place setting. And now I'll show you this centerpiece. It was nice to have some Goodwill items on hand that could pull together these colors from our snack plate. I happen to have some damask napkins in a light sage green, and these I tied together with napkin rings. And for the florals, I happen to have bridesmaids bouquets that were $1.99 in my local Goodwill store. I just knew I could do something fun with these down the road. And they fit quite nicely in the Waterford Crystal Aeroglin vase. This was a steal at my local Goodwill store. And on the other end of the table, I have an antique shop find, a trolley Waterford Crystal vintage vase that was $24. So 
that's a steal too. And it was so nice just to pull these, place them, and I didn't have to buy flowers. I didn't have to think about a different table runner. It all came together nicely. The Mariposa three-tiered server is one of my favorite table essentials. You'll notice the beading around the edge, and I've carried that throughout with some of my vintage pieces. This is a Duchenne Sterling Base mini cake plate that also has that pearled look. And the Imperial Candle Wick, you've probably seen this in antique shops, also carries this throughout. And here I placed the delicious chocolate biscuits from Aldi. And also wanted to show you the trolley vase up close. This is the other side of the table and I found this at the antique shop recently. Such a find. And you'll notice that I also have the beaded napkin rings that bring our table runner together. So it makes for a really nice, clean and timeless look. Picking up tea treats from a local store sure makes it a lot easier when hosting. And these are the marble cake slices. I have cut these thinly and placed them on a Waterford Crystal three-part Lismore dish. And they add a nice look to the table. The macarons are always popular at a tea table. And of course they come in different flavors. And I like that it adds a different texture that goes really well with tea. And on our tiered server in the center, we have cream puffs. And I sliced these when they were frozen. And then after they thawed, I slipped in a strawberry sliver and dusted it with powdered sugar. And that adds a bit of panache to our store-bought tea fare. And the chocolate eclairs are always popular, as are the chocolate croissants. They also have butter croissants and chocolate croissants with hazelnuts in the freezer section. They were out of those today, but that's something you could certainly look for in the future. We have the Waterford Crystal creamer and sugar on each side of the table, just waiting for our English breakfast tea. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your every day with a pretty tea table. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Bath. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.